All right, so here is a pair of shoes that I don't normally cop, but the reason why I did cop this is because of the significance. I'm pretty sure uh, those of you that have been watching, if you research like anything sneakers or even Kobe, you know what this shoe is. Um, Kobe 6, but this isn't the one that came out in 2011. Uh, this is the one that just recently released. Uh, back in December. I did strike out on the uh, on the Nike sneakers app. I'm pretty sure just like everybody else did. Uh, I did strike out, but the reason why I didn't purchase this shoe a while back is because they they cost way too much that I wasn't gonna spend that much money on, on the shoe. Um, so, I mean, I just kept waiting and waiting. And I did have a pair of Kobe 6s. Uh, I actually got just like the the normal Mamba, the Kobe 6, they came out with the Lakers colorway. Uh, I was able to purchase them at a uh, Foot Locker at Highland Mall here in Austin, Texas, uh, back in 2011. Literally just walked in, uh, asked for my size, and they had them. Uh, however, I did end up getting rid of those uh, those Kobe's. I also did have some All Star Kobe uh, Kobe Nines as well. I got rid of both of those Kobe's, even though they were DS. Uh, I got rid of both of those shoes back in 2016. And the reason why I got rid of both of those shoes was simply because at the time, uh, I was just strictly into boost. As soon as I wore my first pair of Ultra Boost, uh, I, started just, I started just getting rid of everything that wasn't boost, to be honest with you. Um, and plus I never wore them. I'm not a bad, I don't, I don't play basketball. I don't play basketball. I am a runner. I love to run. Um, I'll run a couple of miles with you if you want, but I'm not a basketball person. Um, so you might ask me, so why did you buy these these Kobe 6s, the basketball shoe? I bought them because of the significance of Kobe, and it's a shoe that, it's a shoe that I've always wanted. I've always wanted this shoe um, when he wore them that day for Christmas. I played against LeBron. I did have those LeBron 8s. I got rid of those LeBron 8s. Uh, I should have kept them now that I think about it. But uh, I bought the LeBron 8s because they were a lot cheaper than the Kobe Grinches. Um, I guess I did get these off of StockX. Somebody actually accepted my bid on the day that they had 50% off of seller fees. So shout out to whoever uh, pulled the trigger and, and sold me these. I looked at the stock uh, since I purchased them and the stock went up. But... I don't think it's a shoe that I'll sell. I think it's a shoe that I'll just keep and probably wear it for Christmas or something. I don't know, but, or maybe just keep it in a glass case. Um, but I, I had to get them. I put a bit up there, not thinking that somebody was going to accept it. And I knew what the price was. I knew what the price is going to be, but um, it's a shoe that I've always wanted. I just didn't get it. And, um, and I guess just like everybody else, ever since his passing, I've been trying to get the get some Kobe shoes just to have them in my collection. And uh, not knowing what what happened, uh, I probably would have kept the other ones too, just because, and not try to resell them. Just like everybody's trying to sell all these Kobe Kobe shoes and Kobe merchants for high high prices, I would have just most likely kept them, and not didn't sell them for what they're going for now. Uh, I don't I don't regret it. We live and we learn, right? But this is this is a pair of shoe that I wanted. Um, I'm probably not gonna wear it. I do I do although I do see a lot of basketball players wear these on court, and they look pretty cool. I like I like the way they look on court. I like the green. I like the way it pops. Um, good looking shoe. I did try it on already. Uh, they are pretty comfortable. Uh, I think they were more comfortable than from the time that I do remember them. But I think it's because when I was reading online is that uh, they made the technology on these a lot better. So supposedly it has better tech than what it did in 2011, which is good. Um, but this is a shoe that I'm most likely going to keep in my collection. Um, probably not going to get rid of it. Let's see if the, yeah, it's the same, just the regular stock X. Not gonna get rid of these. I'm pretty sure I'll just keep them in my collection just to just to keep them. Plus, I don't have that many basketball shoes anyway, so I mean, might as well just just keep them in, in my collection and just just rock it like that. But 
Uh, you're not going to see me uh, wearing these. I'm glad I have them. Um, they look pretty freaking cool. Um, although, I may, although I might say that I, I'm not going to wear these. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll probably just slip them on feet one day. Uh, but I'm not going to get rid of them. Uh, not like I did the previous the previous Kobe's that I had. For sure, I'll keep these in the collect. Um, but if you're interested in purchasing them, I, th I think that you should. Um, Kobe fan, basketball fan, because of the significance. Plus, it's a good looking shoe. I mean, I love the green. I love the green on it. Pops of yellow. Um, good, good, good looking shoe. Plus, man, if you want to see with the way they look on court, just any any NBA game that you put on, you're gonna see them. So just just pop on your TV, watch an NBA game, and these NBA players are wearing them, and um, they look great. Uh, let me know what you think.